Well, good afternoon, ladies. It's a good thing I have no place to go today because I look pretty silly, but I'm doing this just for you. As you can see, I put makeup on one half my face and not on the other. And I figured I would use this as a kind of a learning uh, tool as well to show the difference that makeup well applied can make. This main, and I'm going to have to put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing here because, you know, that's not what I wanted. Okay, we're going to talk about the dual finish powder foundation. It's also known as a wet dry foundation. Why? Because you can dampen a sponge or when you finish putting your makeup on you can spritz it with water or you can take a face cloth, wring it out and pat your face with it so it sets it a little stronger. Um, it takes that kind of maybe the, the little bit of the dry look you have when you first put it on. If you're going out the door fast, you can do that to get out the door quicker. Okay, with all of the MAC colors. Now when you hover over any one of these colors, it will, it will say what number it is, like if it's C2, C12, and C25, and W20, whatever it is, okay? Now, it's broken down into the three main categories that MAC has, the C, the NC, and uh, it's, so C is cool, NC I believe is neutral to cool, and NW is neutral to warm or whatever. MAC has a strange way of doing their stuff. And I don't spend all my time trying to figure out MAC products. I get paid nothing for this. So I'm promoting them in a way, and it's it, that's not my aim, but my aim is to make it easy for you gals. So. Hover over those and go back and forth and back and forth. You can see where there's warm and cools in each of these categories, okay? So the, you, you just need to hover over. And then the full page, of course, whatever one you hover over, if you click on, it will show a much bigger picture in a, in a, in a, in a compact for you to see, okay? So that's your Mac uh, products. They're all right there. You just have to go to the link, check it out, open it up, take a really good look at it. Ones that you think might suit you. Uh, if you're going shopping, you can ask to see those colors. Uh, so, And you want to test them on the side of your face right here and the jawline, okay? And then, and then if you're not really sure whether you're too warm or too cool, then you test on the other side something that's more warm or more cool, depending on your needs. So that's where you find your max. Now, for your Burrell Dual Finish Wet Dry Powder Foundation, which both of these are paraben-free and all that sort of stuff, you go to the link that's at the top of the page on the one I showed you just a little bit ago. And you will see screenshot, and there's more than this, but these are the most popular ones. Um, you'll see all of the different colors. Now, take a look on your page, that number 31. It looks awfully warm, doesn't it? But that's the color I'm wearing. This just shows you that when we look at different computer screens and photographs, we never really get a true color. It's a guessing game, but once you've got the colors that you like, then you are set. And what you can do with Burrell, if that's the product you go with, I suggest ordering the pans on the phone and order a year's supply. Why not? Make it a whole lot easier for yourself. Uh, but it's, it's just getting that one um, color. Uh, so, you know, anyway, I wear the 31, I wear the 30 highlight, and I wear the 35 under my chin. It's a before and after. You've seen this picture before, right? It's, 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 it's exactly what I'm wearing right now. And it has, you can see, now I'm going to, I'm going to get rid of this picture right now. And I have to bring, I have to keep my glasses on because it's uh, just so much easier. Okay, so we take a look here at my face. This is number 31 that I've got on this side of my face. This is number 30 that I've got around here and down here, okay? 
This is number 35 that I have under my chin and along my jowl and along the side of my nose. This is the prism dupe that I'm wearing. This is the print eye shadow applied with a flat edged angled brush and a light hand. This is the print and the coquette mixed together. This is the coquette and the carbon mixed together on the top. And this is just foundation. And up here in the crease, I've got the coquette and at the back end, mixed, you know, a whole bunch of things mixed together. I'm not wearing lashes today. I'm just, I just curled my, my sparse lashes and used um, mascara. And I, I lined the upper waterline with the Annabelle gel. The color I'm wearing for lips is the Maybelline Superstay number 25, The Flame, and the highlight is the 150. Now, let's take a look at the differences in my face. It's a pretty good match. Does it look lighter? Yeah, but take a look at my neck, my decollete. It goes just fine with it. That 35 is a couple of more shades, like, sh sh darker than the 31. But I've got more chins than I used to have, too. But it does a pretty good job without going overboard. And you can see the difference that it makes. And on the side of my nose. The 30, as I said, I've put it in here. Like this. Okay? Now, when you take a look at the face... I've got lines, and let me get a little closer, lines and wrinkles and pores. Do they still show? Yeah. But are they offensive? Not in my opinion they aren't. What do they look like? Cared for. As we talked about before, when you look like you care for something or it's well cared for, that's the compelling thing about makeup. Um, the other thing is, take note of the, my lips. Look at the difference that dark lipstick makes for an older face. Have I augmented? Yes, I've augmented in the center, top and bottom. But look at how that helps make the lips stand out more. This business fallacy about wearing a light color because it will make your lips look bigger is one of those rules to throw out the window and never look at it again. But it shows you how it can make the lips look fuller. And look at my eyes. They look more, I don't know, a little bit more dramatic. They're not over the top. I'm not using all kinds of eyeshadow or anything else like that. I'm just using neutrals. And I'm letting my lipstick and my personality lead the way. Don't need a lot of color. Color is like paint or like wallpaper in a well-designed home. It's not everywhere. It's just in strategic places. And that's what lipstick and eyeshadow or um, blush can do. It, it's strategic, and that's what adds the color. Now, I've had some people think that they still have to wear bronzer because they look so pale without makeup or without, you know, color. Bronzer's not the way to go when you're over 21. Do not go there. It's just no good. And you don't contour it, the, the, these parts of your faces. Just this. Because when you start doing this on an older face, it's no good. So I'm hoping that my little demo here shows you, um, you know, what... With makeup and without makeup on the same face, and when I'm talking and speaking, uh, you know, um, the communication tools, my eyes and my lips make the difference because they're the focal point. Without, let me see if I can do this without spilling anything. It's all kind of blah and gray and tired looking and washed out, isn't it? more vibrant, right? Fresh, alert, compelling. Not that I'm that compelling, but you know what I mean? So I hope that this little demonstration helps. 
A little streamlined, neutral makeup applied for strength and definition always makes a dame look and feel great. With strength, style, and grace. We'll see you next time.